Alrighty. Oh, I should have started sharing my screen first. Mm, okay. I did the thing where I didn't give it permissions. Somehow I always have to do it. Um, I'll be right back. Sorry. Uh, can I run to my screen? Yeah, I can see it. All right, I'll take that. Um, yeah, so welcome to the Carpenter Working Group. Um, this is uh, September 9th Working Group. Um, yeah, let's get it started. You want to go with some of the CAPI updates? Uh, yeah, happy to. Um, so... You know, the Carpenter Provider Cluster API is, I think, pretty much in a good state where we've achieved like our first milestone, which is, you know, just to have a proof of concept to demonstrate that it works. Uh, and the next step, we're trying to migrate the repository out of my personal GitHub and into the Kubernetes SIGs uh, organization. So I think everyone's pretty much on board with this, um, but I had a couple requests come up during the issue here. One of the requests was to get SIG auto scaling and maybe some of the Carpenter maintainers to give a plus one on this. Um, so I had pinged, you know, Jonathan and uh, Ellis, but, you know, everyone's busy these days and GitHub email gets lost really easily. So I just wanted to come and kind of give a ping and, you know, see maybe Nick, you or someone else, you know, who's kind of doing a lot of Carpenter work could just go and if everything looks good, you know, would love to get some plus ones from the Carpenter people as well. Um, and I'm I'm in the process of adding a couple more maintainers as well. I've got a, a colleague at Red Hat who's uh, interested, and I'm reaching out to a couple of the upstream folks who helped with the design as well. Um, I will note this is we've we've kind of agreed that SIG Cluster Lifecycle is going to be the sponsor for this for now, um, because most of the code that's in the repository is Cluster API specific. You know, the the Carpenter code is still all in the Carpenter repo. Uh, so it didn't make a lot of sense for SIG auto scaling to own it, but uh, I'm assured by the SIG cluster lifecycle, you know, maintainers that if we ever want to move it from cluster lifecycle to auto scaling or something, it shouldn't be a big deal uh, to change a sponsor. So uh, yeah, that's about it. I invite everyone to go take a look at the issue. You know, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them there. Um, yeah, that's about it for me. Okay, thanks so much. Yeah, I think I think. Uh... We should help out with this and make sure, you know, do whatever testing we need to do on our end to support you here. Um, would, do you think it'd be sufficient if uh, we made sure that there was someone attending the the cluster API working group, or is it more just you just need someone to support the issue? Uh, so right now I'm I'm looking for support from the Carpenter you know, maintainers, if they're okay with me migrating this repo. You know, we had talked earlier in the year, like I think January or February about taking that name, Carpenter Provider Cluster API. Um, mm -hmm. Now we're just at the point of like, we got the code ready to go. Um, I think if there are Carpenter maintainers who are curious about the Cluster API stuff, yeah, it would, it would be awesome to have more uh, people into it. But I realize everyone's kind of looking after their own uh, you know, implementations and whatnot. So I didn't want to place any extra, any extra burden on that. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and take a look. And I think the naming shouldn't be a contention, but I'll make sure. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it.
Okay. Um, see that there's a question about the community governance discussion. Do you want to go ahead and ask what, whatever questions you're talking about for that? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hi. Okay, Let me first introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Jiang Wei, and I'm from CloudPilot AI. And we are doing a cloud service at Magic Panda to optimize the uh, cloud cost for users, for customers. Uh, so uh, we want actually actively contribute to this project and uh, um, like adapt to uh, other cloud like Azure, Google, and some other cloud like in China. So we want um, some, you know, like Kavan now is still on the sandbox since they have sandbox project in the list, I didn't see. So um, we want help together um, to make the Kavana better, like uh, in um, community governance and uh, adapt to other cloud. Yeah, that's uh, some, like we uh, find that the maintenance is busy, quite busy and uh, they uh, haven't got time, enough time to review the PR. Yeah, so we want more involved in this project. Yeah, that sounds pretty interesting. Thanks for uh, expressing your interest. Um, do you do you uh, have a like a provider in specific that you want to help on, or is it that you just want to help get more providers in general? Um, we don't want to. Uh, we want to adapt Capanda to more providers, cloud providers. Uh, mm -hmm. We will do it and open. Oh, it will be open sourced. Uh, the second thing is uh, like we we are in our company. We already give um, many PRs like. But uh, few is almost the uh, low one is reviewed and merged. That's uh, I mean inactive. The, 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 oh, they're just too busy. Yes, we just want to more be more involved in this project. Okay. Yeah. So um, we. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like uh, we're not being responsive on Carpenter Dev? Because I think that's where we usually try and uh, target having like if you if you have a peer that's not getting responded to or you feel like you want to commit a little bit more to Carpenter Dev, uh, like as a, as a dev, you can message more on Carpenter Dev and bother us there as much as you need to. Yeah, okay. Uh, also, well, we want, you know, uh, now Carpenter is still not in the sandbox uh, on SensF. Um, do you have the plan to put in the list of sandbox of SensF? Um, so we're actually under the SIG auto scaling uh, group, and I don't, I'm not sure if that would go in the sandbox because Kubernetes is uh, a project, right? Um, actually, no, it lead uh, to applying, need the, the votes from the uh, TOC or SNCF. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure so, what, the, what the difference between where we are now and where, what the sandbox would be, because it's not like its own like product or service. It's like a thing that you, like it's, it's a piece of software that you apply on your cluster. Um, I don't know, Michael, do you know more about this? If, um, if I understand correctly, you're talking about the CNCF graduating projects like Sandbox. Yeah. Is that, is that what yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah. about? Yeah. yeah so exactly. I think the difficulty here is that the Carpenter that exists in Kubernetes SIGs right now is like a library implementation. And I don't, I don't know if the Sandbox is available for library implementations or not? That that might need some research. I, I had thought the sandbox projects all produced like binaries. They produced an actual project that you could install. So we might we might need to do some research to see if Carpenter is appropriate. The Carpenter core is appropriate mm -hmm. to go into the sandbox. I'm I'm not sure about that. Um, if you not uh, like put this project in the sandbox. And you can't uh, get a resource from the foundation, like uh, introduction or activity. It's quite, uh, I mean, a problem. It makes a, a project not uh, complete or something like this. Well, I think if we were going to have a project, if Carpenter was going to be part of one of these like sandbox projects, it would need to be a specific implementation of Carpenter. And right now... Yeah. Right, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so like we couldn't either there would have like, I don't think, 
I don't think it's appropriate to have a sandbox project that targets one specific provider, like for example, AWS or Azure, you know, even maybe the cluster API one is not appropriate. So I think we'd have to figure out first, what would, what would the project be contributing to the sandbox? Would it be like, uh, a, like a meta carpenter that could install on any system? What, what would be the project that would be there? I think that'd be the first question that I would mm -hmm. want to you're right. Um, like uh, like cluster or scale, they put the implementation in the 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 repo of the or scaler. So maybe, right. yeah, maybe it's a better choice to put uh, uh, like the implementation the AWS or Azure putting the direct repo of the SIG Kubernetes SIG carpenter. It's a better choice to make uh, the involving of the project. I mean that yeah that would be so in the in the early days of Carpenter it was more similar to Cluster Autoscaler there were subdirectories inside of the Carpenter project that were meant for each of the clouds um, but I yeah, think yeah. The, the authors changed the intention and wanted to make Carpenter more of a library so I think to bring to bring the individual implementations together into some sort of sandbox sandbox project I think that's going to be difficult because you'll have to convince you would have to convince the owners, like the AWS owners and the Azure owners, you know, to bring it forward and make it public. Right. And I, I'm just, I'm not sure how, you know, I'm not sure how feasible that is. I, and with the cluster I, API project, one would be easy, but I'm, that's nowhere near ready for this. So. You're right, but I think it works. It works because, because you can, you know, get involved in the same self process, grad, grad, incriminating or graduating. Um, it helps a lot, like really. Yeah, I think what I think what Mike was trying to get at is that the like, kind of structure of it and how we've kind of organized the two repos is that it isn't able to, at least within my current understanding of how these sandbox projects work, is that it doesn't fit the like requirements of how to meet in here. I know we definitely have to look into it, and I. It seems like what you're saying is if you get into the sandbox area and you become a graduated project, then you get more people who are willing to contribute and help out. Um, so yeah, I think we can yeah, play yeah. into like how that might help us and if there's any other projects that are just a library. Um, but from what I've heard, it sounds like based off how we've chosen to orchestrate our like Kubernetes SIGs library and then each of the implementations of that library, I'm not sure it would work at this moment. Yeah, we need to find it out. We are uh, like, uh, we are Cloud by AI and we can take this part and uh, do some research about this part. And uh, we'll give our um, like, uh, including about this problem. Sure, yeah, if, if you, uh, you want to start doing some research into like what it is and like how you get into a sandbox and if there's any other library type projects in here, um, mm -hmm. if you want to shoot us a message in Carpenter Dev, um, we can start thinking about that. Um, but I, yeah. I right now I'm not sure if this would is a good fit right now. Yeah. Um, we can take this part, and uh, maybe next meeting we will talk again. Sure. Thank you. Is it possible to like library as a sandbox project? Yeah, it'd be cool if we could. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Um. So, are there any more okay, questions? That's... Or do you want to? Uh, no more questions. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Um. Are there any more questions that anyone had? I don't see any more in the community questions list here. Oh, so last thing, by the way, can you uh, like <laughs> try? Can you take a review uh, about my PR? You know, there is several. Sure. Yeah. Uh, shoot a message in Carpenter Dev. Um, so, I, so you can get the full list of PRs, or you can put them in the notes if you'd like. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much.
All right. Um, if there's no other questions, I'll give you, I'll give 10 seconds for anyone who has questions. Otherwise, I think we're done. All righty. Thanks for joining, everyone. Uh, this was a pretty quick one. Um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one in two weeks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.